What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And in this question, what we gotta do is we have to create an exponential function in this format here, y equals a times b to the power of x plus c. And this uh, exponential function is gonna have a horizontal asymptote at y equals negative four, a y-intercept at 96, and it's also gonna go through the point one and 21. So let's write out this general format here. And out of the three characteristics that we're given, the easiest one to deal with, I feel like, is the horizontal asymptote, because that's always gonna be the C value. And so notice that if the horizontal asymptote is at y equals negative four, then that means C is equal to negative four. So we can rewrite this as y equals A times B to the power of X minus four. And then the next one, the y-intercept at 96, it means it has a coordinate at 0 and 96. So what we can do is we could plug in this coordinate here and watch what happens. So we plug in 96 for y, we'd plug in 0 for x, and then we'd have minus 4. Now b to the power of 0 is just 1, so we'd have 96. 1 times a is just a, and then we'll have minus 4. So notice that the a value is 100. And we were able to get that with the y-intercept. And then, so if we update this function, we got 100 b to the power of x um, minus 4. And now to get the b value, we could plug in that point 1 and 21 for uh, x and y. So we'll have 21 equals 100 b to the power of 1 minus 4, like that. Bring the negative 4 over, we'll have 25 here. 100, b to the power of 1 is just b. Divide both sides by 100. 25 over 100 is 1 over 4. So that's what the basis for this function. And so the final answer would be the a value, 100, 1 over 4, to the power of x, and then that c value, or that horizontal asymptote of minus four. So that's what the final function would be. And you could check it, so if we plug in zero for x for the y-intercept, notice this would go to one, 100 times one is 100, minus four is 96. If we plug in one for x, we'll have one over four to the power of one, which is one over four, times 100, which is 25, minus four, gives us 21. And then from here, we can also tell that that horizontal asymptote, which is the C value for an exponential function, is negative 4. So everything checks out, and that's the final function.